Hello and welcome to Draco Ray Gaming. Today is the Vanguard beta release for PS4 and PC, September 16th. It came out at 10 a.m. Pacific time, and I'm here to show you the best settings and how to get the most FPS out of it. I've been messing with it for about two and a half hours. Uh, I'm really good at getting the, the settings dialed in in these games, and uh, so we're going to go through it right now. And as usual, no BS, no fluff. Here we go. So we're gonna go and leave this on custom, we're going to the quality tab. Render resolution 100, like I said, the revamp usage target um, on the other games, it definitely had some sort of leaking going on or was using more than it should have been. I'm gonna go ahead and back this down to, to 80. And this is just uh, me knowing the history with these games and how they have issues. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave texture resolution high. We'll go texture filter and a scrop. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go low on that. I'm gonna go low, let's go low medium, let's try low. Particle level quality, I'm, it's, I'm not big on those, it doesn't really matter to me. I usually go low on those to maximize frame rate. Uh, particle resolution low, bullet impact and sprays. I turn those off, uh, a lot of people use the sprays in game to try to trick you. They use like the human sprays, you know, like the actual soldier sprays, the operator sprays. Um, I leave those off, so that's again preference. Uh, tessellation, I do nearby only. Uh, the overall level of detail, we're gonna go, we're gonna go medium. Me, uh, medium, uh, there's two level of details here. I don't know if that's like a, like a fluke. So I don't know if that changes all of them or what, but uh, we're going to try to go level of detail on distance quality. I'm going to go high on that because I like to snipe. Uh, volumetric quality level. Light fog, clouds, more defined. I'm going to go medium on that. Uh, shadow map resolution, I'm going to go high. Uh, definitely want the shadows not blocky, especially when you're sniping and things like that. They can actually uh, confuse you when you're looking at enemies. Um, sh sun shadow cascades, cash spot sun shadows. Cash Sun Shadow. So this is the preference on Warzone. I'm going to leave them on for now. It didn't matter if I turn them on or off in Cold War Warzone. Um, spot cache size is high. Uh, let's see. I'm going to leave those on high. Let's see. Let's see how that does for FPS quality right now. Spot shadow quality high. Let's go low. Particle beam lighting. I'm going to go. Let's go medium. And ambient occlusion. That's fine. Let's see, GTAO, static objects. I'm gonna go medium on that, screen splice reflection. I'm just gonna go off. Anti-aliasing, I'm gonna go SMMA2X, just a little bit. I'm gonna apply these settings. I'm gonna go back to display. I'm gonna go full screen borderless, I'm gonna apply. And we're gonna go back, and you can see in menu here, we're getting about 100, 110, 112. And that's again, because we have a lot of things on high still. Um, it looks like the game might run off the Modern Warfare engine, uh, is, is my opinion, especially from the... I can tell when I move the mouse, it drops to 90 and things like that. Uh, I really had to turn everything down even a bit more. Let's try these settings now and do a test and see where they get us. I am cranking out some frames on these settings. Team Deathmatch. Take out all enemies. Take your time and remember to think. So field of view is something I want to change too. I am not liking the field of view. So let's go graphics, uh, gameplay, field of view. Let's go 120. We took the advantage. Yeah, baby. There we go. Boom. Nice try. Okay, it's capping at 130. So what I want to do... Let's uh, let's uncap the frames and see how much we can get. It's solid 130. 100, 150 frames. 169, 170. Here right now, it feels like feels like Modern Warfare engine rather than Cold War. Oh, sniper. Alright, he'll tell Royale to see how many frames we're going to be getting up in here. Wow! 180? We'll oh, take it. One take it. 160 to 180. 180, 160, 170. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. What is this? Look at this. This is not a World War II gun. I'm just using a whatever gun. So. Earn 60 frames. I mean, it's smooth. I think these are the best settings for me because I wanted, I wanted the uh, the best uh, visual quality, while also maintaining 
uh, a high FPS, you know. I don't know why everybody wants, you know, if unless you got a 240 hertz monitor, the 240 frames aren't going to do any good, you know. If you got a 144 hertz monitor or 120 like most people do, then I think these are probably the best settings and exactly where you want to be. So I'm going to go over them again one more time. Uh, so uh, graphics and display, we're going to go full screen borderless on my Predator at a 120 hertz refresh rate. We're not syncing every frame. We're going to do an unlimited frame limit. You can cap it at like 130 if you have a 120 hertz monitor or 154 if you have a 144 hertz monitor is my opinion. Right now it's unlimited to show you how many frames I can actually get. Uh, let's see. Uh, brightness, gamma, all these other options are, are all just uh, default on texture streaming, demand texture streaming is on. Everything else is just just default. The really the core stuff's here in the graphics quality. Uh, we're gonna go. Uh, I went 150 on the render resolution. You can go. It's, I got 1920, 2080, but I kind of gave it a 50 percent boost on the clarity. And I, I, the fr the frame hit was was not enough uh, for me to really care too much. It gave me much more clarity in game with the render resolution to be able to see opponents. Um, I also backed this down to 80 percent since I still do believe that the game may have a, some type of VRAM uh, leak issue. So red to res, uh, you can go 100 or 125 or 150 off 1920 by 1080. I'm doing 80%. Uh, I'm going high on the textures, medium on the antiscropic, low on particle, low on particle res, bullet ink pass phrase off, that's preference, tessellation off, medium detail, high level of detail, high here as well, low on volumetric quality, shadow map is medium, medium on the spot shadows and the cascades, uh, spot shadow cache low, uh, cache sun shadows on, and we'll see how that goes. We'll do some further testing. But low, low, off, low, off, 2x, and 0 on Filmic. And I'm getting uh, an awesome frames, about 130 to 150 frames with, with great quality. So you got to find that balance. And for me, that's where it is. If you want to get the most frames, I was hitting 200 with uh, everything on low slash off. Um, but it did look kind of blurry. So that's that's kind of my 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 take on that. So again, I hope this video helped you guys out get the best performance with Call of Duty Vanguard. Uh, these are the settings I prefer. I think it's the right balance of clarity and frames for my 120 hertz monitor, uh, as well as 144 hertz monitor. Um, and I think that's right where you need to be. Um, otherwise, you can drop everything down to lower off, drop your render res to just 100 and play 1920 by 1080. You'll definitely get up towards the 200 frame. Uh, mark, but you, you will lose the uh, the quality that you're looking for. It will be harder to see people. So, uh, Draco Ray Gaming, as usual, no BS, no fluff. I'll see you guys next time.